Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 44th Pi Game tutorial video from Centex for the new Boston. Where we left off, we were showing how to just draw pixels, and now I want to show you guys how you can draw all kinds of other things. So, we've got a pixel, we'll leave it there for now. And now we can do other things. So we can do lines. So to do a line, it will be pygame.draw. And what do we want to draw? We want to draw a line. So draw a line. And a lot of this stuff kind of works very similarly to each other. So hopefully you can get to the point where you don't need to like check the documentation anymore for like what order things go in. But I understand it can get confusing. But for the most part, it's always pygame.draw.line. Where do we want to draw it? Well, we want to draw it to game display. And then what color do we want that line? We'll make that line red. And then you specify the start point. So that's a tuple. The end point, another tuple. And then you can specify width. So we've got game display, red. And then now let's just make up a start point. So our start point could be 200, 300. So x200, y300. And then our end point, another tuple, could be 500, 700. And then finally width, uh, how many pixels wide do we want it? Well, we can make it five pixels wide. So let's go ahead and save and run that, see what we got. So here we have our line. Okay, nice red line, beautiful, beautiful. Close that, okay. Um, and what did we do, by the way? We specified a number that was bigger than our screen. So let's do this, 500, 500. One more time. Beautiful, beautiful. So nice, nice line. Can you imagine drawing that like one pixel at a time? <laughs> no. Okay, so we've got a line. Now, uh, we're going to draw a circle. So pretty similar again, pygame.draw.circle. And this one is a little slightly different, but uh, the first two start out the same. Where do we want to draw it? Game display. What color do we want to draw it? Red. When do we want it? Now. Okay, so here, this one's a little different. You're going to specify basically the, um, where do you want the center of the circle to be, then you've got the radius of the circle, and then you've got um, width. So, and that's like of the line. So, anyway, let's just go ahead and draw one real quick. So circle, and then we're going to say 50, 50, and then we'll say the width, um, five okay so let's just go ahead and run that really quick so there's our little circle okay so 50 50 now uh what if we said um a hundred so it's like 100 wide so now you've got basically a big sun okay so again 50 50 is just the center of our circle so we could say instead 200 uh 200 now it'll hopefully fit on the screen nice so now we've got this big ball here, and it looks like it's going to roll down our line. So we've got that. Um, so that's a circle. Now there's a couple other things that we can do, and uh, we're going to do a rectangle next. We've already done rectangles, but it's good for a refresher. Pygame.draw.rect. And then, again, where do we want it? Game display. What color do we want it? Green. And then this one is the top left, and then width and height so green comma and then we want this to be 150 uh 150 200 and 100 so 150 150 top left 200 wide 100 tall and that's basically all we're going to put in there and it's green so let's go ahead and save and run that there she is right on top nice now finally uh let's draw a polygon so a polygon is a slightly more complex, but you can draw any polygon. So how do we do that? So first of all, uh, the starting is, as usual, very similar. You've got pygame.draw.polygon. And then where do we want to draw it? Game display. Let me make some space here. Game display. What color do we want it? Uh, what color haven't we done yet? We've got green. Let's do white. White. Um, game display white and then basically you specify all of the points and then it's going to connect them all so for example we could do and it's all points in a tuple of tuples okay so let's just do uh, we'll say 140 
and five. And then, oh, what have I done here? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm having a hard. Whenever we put too many tuples, it's just it's just confusing. So <laughs> when you have something like this, it can be confusing pretty quick. But it's a tuple full of tuples, and I think our parentheses are just fine. But you can always check your parentheses by holding Shift and you know like close the parentheses and make sure everything is highlighted that should be highlighted, and then you know you're you're off to a good start. So 145, and then we'll do uh, 216, and then we'll do uh, 88, uh, 3D, 333. So let's go ahead and save and run that real quick and see if we got that. Okay. So again, we only put, we put three coordinates. So it made the three coordinates and then connected them all and filled them. So we can close out of this. Close, close, close. Um, and then let's add some more here. Let's do... Uh, 600, 222, and then uh, 555, 222, five, five, two, two, something like that. I'm trying to make it over. There we go. <laughs> so depending on the order that you put things in, it'll basically it connects the dots all the time. So as you can see, this is all one object, but we've got a few like, this is a, a complete like overlap as it was drawn, like almost like it got folded over. So keep that in mind that you can actually, you can do that depending on the order that you draw things in. So we've covered over <laughs> all of our other stuff, but you can see here that we now we understand we can draw pixels, circles, rectangles, lines, um, and then just any polygon we can think of <laughs> we can draw. So um, while it's useful to draw sprites uh, or, or use sprites, um, it's also extremely useful to not have to have a sprite. Um, and you can't really uh, accelerate sprites like you can accelerate graphics wise uh, drawing onto the screen. So anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for drawing all this stuff. And then basically in this tutorial or this coming up game, we're gonna be using drawing a lot more than we use um, sprites. And you know, to an extent, sprites are really useful and you can easily convert the game that we're about to make and use some sprites. So the game we're going to make is going to be like a tank game. So you can have a tank sprite, you can have, um, you know, a bullet sprite or whatever, a shell sprite. You can have sort of an explosion sprite. Someone can make that animation, you can bring it in. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to try to use a lot of drawing. There are some things that we might use a sprite for as we go. But for the most part, we're going to try and draw all of this stuff so you can get kind of comfortable with drawing uh, multiple objects over them and moving them as one. So anyways, uh, that's what you have to look forward to. Again, please make sure that you have the old snake script. That's basically what we're going to start with in the next video. It's going to be the old script that we left off with. We're going to cut a lot of stuff out of it, uh, but then we're going to use it so we don't have to waste a lot of time uh, rebuilding basically the same sort of logic uh, that goes around the game. So anyway, with that, uh, that's it for this. Stay tuned to the next video, and thanks for watching.